What is up guys, everything Apple Pro here. And out of the blue, Apple has released a new firmware update, iOS 7.1.1 for all devices, including the iPhone 5S, 5C, 5, 4S, 4, the iPod Touch 5th generation, and all iPads currently supporting iOS 7. Now this update actually doesn't change too much, however, it does improve the overall stability of the device, and if you click on learn more, it will tell you that it made improvements to the Touch ID recognition, to a bug that could impact keyboard responsiveness, and even fixes an issue with the Bluetooth keyboard. And any improvement Apple can make is, you know, a good point in my book. However, personally, since iOS 7.0 has been released, I have not had much luck. I've had crashing, instability, just not a very good overall experience. And Apple has been making it a little bit better. However, even in the 7.1 area, it has not gotten too much better. The speed is a little better. However, I am still experiencing crashing. So hopefully in the new major release of 7.2, Apple will be fixing a lot more. Now there are two ways to go ahead and install this update. One is over the air through the software update section of general. Go ahead and enable Wi-Fi, connect to a network, and go ahead and select download and install. Agree to this and it's a 26 megabyte update so it should be fairly quick it will reboot your device and you know it'll take about 10 minutes i'd say now you could go ahead and do it through your computer and do consider that jailbroken devices will not see the over the air update in general because the jailbreak actually blocks you from seeing that so you'd have to do that through itunes and of course just like any update this will remove your jailbreak and the latest evasion jailbreak is not compatible with 7.1 or 7.1.1 so take care if you are jailbroken now don't be surprised if i iOS 7.1.1 is followed by several other updates quickly because there are still several known bugs in 7.1.1 that do exist, and 7.2 is not too far off on the horizon as well. Now, iOS 8, of course, is expected to drop sometime around September, I think. And if you do have an iPhone 4, 7.1.1 is going to be one of the last updates you will be receiving because Apple is leaving it behind and it certainly will not be getting iOS 8. Now, as we near the release of the Apple iWatch, iOS 8, and the iPhone 6, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated with all the little details. And I do hope you enjoyed this little update. Have a great day, guys. Peace.